So I thought this mostly clear resin bowl would be the perfect candidate to show how the vacuum chuck works because you can see the chuck through the bowl. So I'll start by threading it on and then connect the tube that comes from the pump to the chuck. And then we've got the reversing adapter mounted in the live tailstock chuck. Just screw that on there, slide it up, turn the pump on, and it just pulls it right up. This works perfect. You don't even have to lock the uh, tailstock down. It works better if you don't, actually. So we'll use the simple parting tool to part this off of here, and you can see the the gasket on the end of the vacuum chuck there. Holds it real nice, running at about 1500 RPM here. And this is spalted maple. It cuts really nice. And there it is. It's already off of there. Nothing goes flying. That's it. Works nice. We're ready to finish the bottom here using the MS90D. It's kind of neat to be able to see the vacuum chuck through the this mostly clear bowl. You can see the gasket there, how it holds it on. This is the only tool we we'll need for this. This tool. Although it's a detailer, it has a lot of other real nice uses, and one of them is for finishing the bottom here. You can see it makes a nice flat bottom as well as enlarges the pocket with the left uh, corner of the cutter. So it's just the ideal tool for this. There's the engraving. It says simple 90 detailer. Perfectly square cutter turned at an angle. And there it is, all done, ready to take off. Just release the vacuum, pull it off, turn the pump off, and there you go. Resin bowl with spalted maple pieces in it. All that's left is to sign the bottom and put some resin on it. There. Thanks for watching my video.